see what kind of output voltage we get. It's a little bit high. Ooh, that's a mean voltage. Let's see if those devices can take it then, shall we? Got that motor, pump, another motor pump, just the motor itself, and then we've got a fan, and maybe some other things that I might squeeze into this video, so let's have a go at the All first right, guys, victim. brace yourselves. I have no idea what's going to happen, but i got safety glasses, so uh, I think I'm safe, so I guess we'll energize the uh, power supply. Okay, let's see what we get. Now the motor doesn't rotate, so pretty much it's the coil that we're um, overloading. So there we have 122 volts, if you can see that. Sorry about the glare and this annoying bird. So let's begin to increase our voltage. 180 volts. Something's getting hot in there. 500 volts, something's going starting to go open circuit. Ooh, magic smoke, guys. Haven't seen that in a while. Oh! Huh. Oh! We killed it. Extinguisher. The smaller motor. I think the uh, uh, the um, spinning shaft on this is seized. Something and it's seized. So um, this is pretty much another coil overvolt. But let's actually see if we can get it to spin. Give it a little bit of a twirl. And let's see exactly. What we can do, see how much voltage this thing will be able to take, possibly. My bet is about 300 volts it will begin to die. About time. I think deserves to die. Jeez. See, guys, when I do these experiments, I have the wind blowing the smoke away from me. So it doesn't smell as bad, but I can still smell it just a little bit. Hundred and twenty five volts. Now it's time to go over that. We pop. 
popped it, guys. Thank God it wasn't a really smoky one, as I was expecting it to. It's pretty hot. Oh! Smoke rings. That's enough for today. Thanks.